today I'm going to show you how to make low poly armor for your characters inside of Blender. Let's go. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is start working on the chest plate because I think it might be the easiest thing to make. So firstly, what I'm going to do is select this lower edge. And then from here, I'm just going to start selecting up and then around the arm like this. Okay, then I'm going to go shift D to duplicate and then P bar selection. Cool. And after I go back to object mode and select my chest plate, you can see it's now just a separate object. Then the easiest way to do is just go add in a solidify modifier. Okay. And there, make it slightly thicker. And then click on this little triangle option over here. Now what I want to do is that we can actually like work with the like dots and stuff uh, like on top. So how you actually have to start shaping this is with the knife tool. So I just press K and I can start like shaping the top of our breastplate. So here, if I take it around, just start clicking. So K for the knife tool, like that. I can select this edge. Let's go X faces. Okay. I think it might be too thick. So I'm going to make it slightly smaller. Um, and then Mark want to just like G to us to kind of slide it away from the arms a bit. Or you can just move it individually. So there, maybe also you can make this like down a bit. And then what I like doing sometimes is just adding like edges like this, just to like some parts of the arbor, just have it like a little rim, whatever. Um, and then if you want to make it extra stylish, you can even bring it down a bit just to round out the bottom. Cool. Then I'm going to go add in a new material. So I'm just going to click new, uh, just so we can have like a, just the differentiation between like the skin. Cool. Next thing I need to go add is something called the pauldron, which is basically like a big shoulder piece. So to do that, I'm just going to go add in a plane. And then drag this up, make it like above the shoulder, and put it like here. And then simplest way to do this is just go add in edit mode, go add an edge loop, so like there, and then control R to add another edge loop to make it like horizontal, just make it a square with like a another edge loop inside it. Then I'm just gonna go start dragging these in, just kind of there, drag them slightly this way, so it's kind of just right, like just slightly dragged in. Uh, you can G twice to edge slide it like that, and then just start moving these parts up um, so it kind of like rounds it out a bit. Then, if we go add in a slit of our modifier, make it thicker, you even copy the same number that we did for our breastplate, which will actually be different because the scales can be messed up like this. You see, one on one, and this is 0.1. So, if we go control a scale, it's going to be very different. And we can, if you put the number in, we'll get the exact same scale which I'm actually just going to make it slightly bigger. Cool. And I'm just going to round out the side as well, bitch. I like. And then if you want to kind of keep it like more consistent, like style between them, I'm going to do the same thing where I just kind of go select these two edges and then just extrude them up. Cool. Then under that, what I'm going to do is just go select this face over here and just duplicate shift D. Uh, actually, I'll grab two of these. And then go shift D, P bar selection. And then that means I can go grab this part individually and time to take it underneath and it's usually just like a, a like separate part like this you can start dragging that up slightly and maybe there so you don't see it as much and then kind of like round it out a bit it's just kind of just like an extra part makes it look nicer um and it's supposed to go further down the bicep so you could also just like start layering it as well just like start taking it like this and then just kind of layering it so it's kind of just like there to protect the like upper arm so if you take it like this and then just like take the bottom and scale it up then making it layered is a lot easier because then like this part smaller than the top so you can kind of layer it properly so if you have it like there then i could select this and duplicate it and it works well and i'm actually going to take this and rotate it so it's more like aligned to the actual like angle of the arm so i'm pressing l so you can actually select each piece individually and then let me quickly mirror them. So let's go add a mirror modifier and set the mirror to be the body. So it actually works properly. With these, I'm going to change the thickness as well because it doesn't make sense to make them as thick. And they're just like a secondary piece. And they're supposed to be a bit more flexible. Cool. For the forearm, I'm going to do select the forearm like this. Go Shift and D. And then P bar selection. And then I can just do the same thing. Go add in the, the, like the solidifier. So I'm just going to go to this object. So select the forearm, then select the like pauldron thing, and then just go select on the solidify, go to the drop down and copy to selected, and it should add in a solidify modifier, which is going the wrong way. So if we just change this to be a negative number, you can see it works fine, which might actually be a bit too big. 
So I might want to get a similar number to the chest plate. So that's negative nine or zero zero nine, like that. Okay, and then you can also start shaping that a bit. So just make it like make sense so that it can actually bend when your arm bends. It's like you don't you want to have like less over here in this like lower part of the arm. Cool. You can do a similar thing for the lower leg. So I'm just going to go select this calf area, and then I'm going to go Shift D. P bar selection, and I can select the calf area. Uh, do the same thing, just select here, copy the solidify, copy to selected, and then move the material. And I guess something I forgot is we can also just extrude these and scale it out, just like this, kind of get the same like visual style over each piece of armor. It all looks like it's made for the same person, I guess. So yeah, that works. And then for the knee, we're gonna have a specific another piece. So let's go, go grab a plane, and then we're gonna go bring it up to the knee, rotate our X90, kill it down, and then we're gonna do something similar that we did to the shoulder piece. So if we just go rotate it to kind of like facing the right way, go edge loop, edge loop, and then you can just start doing the same thing. So usually you just wanna drag it down, and then select these to drag it up. Select these to drag it down, G to us, and then you could just scale these to make it like slightly more round, or I think it might be slightly too thick. There. Okay. okay. And then we can start taking these out to kind of round it out like that. Okay. And then same thing, solidify. And then we can just select the, the calf, select the, or select here, select the calf, and then copy the mirror. Actually, we need to change the mirror to the body so it doesn't work then usually what happens for the lower body depending on what character you have is they will have like a part that goes like this covering the thighs um and then have like a kind of like co like cape but for the front and the yeah so we're going to have to add in we could just select the thighs like this just go here select the front like faces over here shift d p bar selection and we can take this part so I'm going to add an edge loop in here, just kind of like close to this edge. And then we're going to have to add, let's go nav tool K here, just so that we can get, so it's not, it's not a triangle, depends on how your low poly character works, but we kind of just want this kind of shape. Okay. And then we can just go alt S and that kind of just scales it up or just use, yeah, alt S works better. So it kind of just like pulls it out. So it's like, it's, it's perfectly growing the mesh or whatever. Okay. Same thing, we're going to grab the same solidify, so copy to selected. That's not the size we want. Let me get rid of the solidify. So it's copy to selected from the calf one. That works. And then this is not going to be like just floating. It's going to be underneath the belt when we add it in. So there that works. And then if you want, you can just do something similar to how you did it for the upper arm. And then just like take here, just take this, just go V and just separate it. And then kind of just start staggering them uh, like this. And then just start like dragging them in so they kind of look like they join together. And you can sort of round them out a bit, makes it look a bit nicer. Okay, cool, there you go. Um, and the next thing, go add in a belt. So I'm actually going to drag this part up slightly. Or you could even leave it down and then have the belt go over it. So just like scale sh shift Z, like this, and have this kind of go like over the top of these. And then just take this face over here, shift D, P bar selection. And then I'm just going to select this edge. Same thing, G to us to edge slider. So it kind of looks more like a belt, like a kind of size of belt would be. And we already have a solidify, so we can just alt test to scale it up. Um, and then we have a belt kind of thing. And then I can just go add a new material. And then if I change the viewport display, we'll change the color. So I'm going to make it a brown like that. Okay. And then what we have to do just to finish it off uh, is just go add in a plane. So go shift a mesh plane, RX90. And then scale this down. And this is going to be like a kind of like fabric part that goes over the front so i'm going to go here kind of covers like the top of the best breastplate it goes down so it goes into the belt and it goes like here goes over and then goes down so i'm going to make it to go too far and then i'm going to bring it up i'm going to mirror it and they can kind of get it to fit underneath the belts or just make the belt slightly bigger so you can actually get it to fit underneath unless we get it to kind of fit around the armor and then I'm going to kind of just go here. 
uh, you can bevel this so you kind of get a piece that looks like it can actually go over um, and then just like model a like strap that goes over the top or turn it into like a cape for the back um, but yeah I think this looks pretty cool um, you got some good looking armor for your character cool if you enjoyed this video click over here for another video that you might like cheers